This demo will take us through position part in machine context. Here we have our sample part, and today I'd like to show you the enhancements we've made in positioning this part on the machine tool. First of all, I need to retrieve the machine tool from the library. For this example, I'll take an out of the box CMO1 machine kit. The previous enhancements have been around turning the machine tool on and off completely during position of the part for the part mount junction, as well as changing the translucency of the machine tool to enable the user better visibility while positioning the machine tool. I'd now like to show you the enhancements in position part on machine. As you can see, we now have the option to create a bounding cylinder or a bounding block around the component. So in this case, I can select a bounding cylinder. And you'll also be familiar with this dialog from the MCS view, where we can now, the user can now select in the, in the dialog and it updates the thesis on the uh, component. From here, the user can then interact directly with the machine tool placing the part in different positions on the bed of the machine. I can now press OK and we'll see the machine tool has now positioned, the part has now been positioned on the machine tool in that position. The second thing I would like to show you, if I turn on some fixturing, like the chuck, and fixture plate. And now when I pick a machine tool, this time we pick a slightly different variant of machine. Again, I'll specify position part on machine. And now I can select the bounding box. And we can see as I move this around, it's also incorporated all the fixturing as well as the part to a position it on the machine tool. Once again, I can pick dynamically in the uh, dialog. And then once I picked on the dialog, I can then specify a position on the machine tool to center it correctly. And then rotate. Once again, pressing OK, we'll position the part on the machine. And finally, I'd like to uh, do the same, but I will show you in a different kinematic. So this time I will turn off the fixture plate. Uh, again, select the machine tool. This time I will pick a uh, mill turn. So the SIM 15 SIM numeric. Okay, again, I can rotate the machine to get a better view of where the part is. Again, I can use position part on the machine it's time to specify the cylinder, pick the front face, and I can move the part and the chuck out. So I can pick the rear of the chuck in this dialog here, and then I can snap to the correct position on the machine tool. I could rotate if necessary, but press OK. And that was the enhancements in position part in machine context.